Hello everyone and welcome to the Red Bull Short Track Showdown here in the NSDCA, the final few weeks of the late model series. And here we are starting in the west first on the west coast here at the Irwin Dale Speedway. Ryan Johnston and Chandler Maurice start on the front row with Mark Silas and Gunnar Matheson in row two. It's going to be a 25 lap event here at Irwin Dale. We already have the commands to fire the engines now. The drivers will be rolling off to take their, uh, to get ready to start here at Irwindale. So it's going to be a 25 lap event. You see top 14 right there. The fields have been trimmed and activity starting to set in. And a lot of drivers will start losing their rides soon and being kicked out of the series. So as the feet, as we get ready for season number four coming up soon, we're ready to say thank you guys for watching here on the NSDCA. Johnston leads us down. Chandler Maurice on the outside. Then Mark Silas Matheson, Phi, Mills, uh, and then Wheeler and Head, your top eight, coming on through turn number four here. Coming down this long front straightaway, 20 cars in this field. Green flag is out here at Irwindale, and Chandler Maurice with a very large jump on the field. Jose Mills already making it three wide. He is driving for uh, that 46 team that he's driven for all season long. He is in looking for his second win in a row. Look at Ethan Head in that 33 car already up to the top five looking to win before his counterpart in that champion number 33 Irving Allison but out in front it is Chandler Maurice Chandler moving to Burkhart Maurice next season driving the 11 that his brother made pretty famous and is still making famous as Blake is fighting for the Crown Royal Truck Series championship now Chandler out in front still looking for his first win in the RBSTS second is Jose Mills third Gunnar Matheson Ethan Head with the big move Johnston on the inside now Ethan Head is going to bring that 33 up to that third position. Huge move there for Ethan. And coming around, Chandler remains in the race lead. Jose second, Ethan up to third, Matheson up to fourth. And now Trip McGinnis looking to make a move on Ryan Johnson back there for that fifth position. See the rest of the field going on through. There's Bob Helipad, Jacob Rose as well. Maxwell Fye on the bottom. Fisher G in that six car. There is Julio Caesar in that 66 making his second start. Jacob Rose, who is now going to, uh, has been confirmed to go to Fitzwater Australia Racing next season. There's Luke Rainey also going to Red Bull Motorsports and Austin Johnson in that 57 running for um, Jones Racing Inc. As Chandler Maurice has now pulled away here at Irwindale, a very large gap over the 46 team there of Jose Mills and Ethan Head back there in that third position. The outside line a bit, a bit stronger here. You see Ashton LaJoy making some moves there around Mark Silas, Trip McGinnis as well. You see J.J. Roberts. J.J. has been confirmed the number 39 ride for Everham Motorsports. With that alliance with TSR, that could be big for this driver of that 07. Daniel Voiles in his final start there in that 44. You also see Richard Wheeler in one of his final starts. Fisher G in that six car making a move on the outside. But now Jose Mills starting to pull away from that second pack, starting to chase down Chandler Maurice as we are already eight laps through. CBS taking on uh, the West race today. Just a change of pace there. Ethan Head back there in third, battling with Richard Johnston that back there, or Ryan Johnson, I should say, in that fourth position. Fifth now, Trip McGinnis and Ashton LaJoy making a move on Gunnar Matheson for that sixth position. But as we said, Chandler Maurice already nine laps through this event, coming around to lap number 10. Very quick races here in the RBSTS. Now the 72 team out in front trying to win for older brother, Bra older brother Blake and Brady's team. Jose Mills in that 46 coming. Ethan head back there in third. This could be a good race for Ethan if he could get up there. Win, what would that mean with him going to Burkhart Maurice and Monster Motorsports next season, splitting the two drivers between those teams? And there's Trip McGinnis now making a move all the way to the inside on Gunner. That is for that fifth position, still in a big battle. And there's Johnston up there back in the fourth position. J.J. Roberts trying to pull away from the rest of the field. You see Maxwell Fye. There's Austin Johnson, Luke Rainey, Jesse Turner. Or no, that's Naomi Ashley. There's T.J. Hanley as well. But Chandler out in front. We'll go ahead and take a quick flyby here if we can get a good angle of the drivers on the track. There is there is our sponsors for the race, but there it is. Chandler Maurice over Mills and the rest of the field as they all rush around. Top 10 right there. Daniel Voiles, last one inside that is all 20 cars. Still pretty close together, but Chandler and Jose now starting to pull away. Ethan Head back there in third. He needs to start making up some lines already halfway through this event. Chandler has led... All 13 laps of it, but right now out in front, not the best place to be, even though Jose just can, does not have the speed to get up there and catch that 72 car. 1.29, and it looks like the gap gets bigger that time by. Is Ethan Head now 
starting to reel back in Jose. This 33 car has finished second twice in the East Series, both getting passed on the last lap for the race win, and now he's looking to get himself a, a second, maybe even a first, if he could catch Chandler. But with only 10 laps to go next time by, I don't think Ethan will be able to do it. Johnston in that 42 car in his second race of his career. Great run right there for the Boomers, 42. And Trip McGinnis back there in fifth with Mathis in sixth. Ashton LaJoy, seventh. Mark Silas, eighth. Ninth, J.J. Roberts in tenth. Daniel Voiles, cars around. There are cautions on this track because CBS wanted to do it differently. And Luke Rainey, the car that goes around, this will stack everyone up coming around. So pace laps here at Irwindale. It's going to be big there for Chandler Maurice's lead. Rest of the field cycling around. The uh, RBSTS has announced that cautions will be in season two. They will have cautions at every single track next year. So it looks like maybe this weekend they will be starting to implement that as we have seen a lot of big crashes. And of course, Cody Hagen's wreck last week with everyone not trying to uh, slow down. Because there were no cautions, they all ran into him. Of course, Cody injured, not returning for the rest of the season to heartbreak for that 24 team. But uh, Chandler Maurice out in front. It looks like cautions will most likely be implemented. Ethan Head and that 33 car is going to blow up in that champion uh, number 33. That is just a more heartbreak to this team's season. And from a third place possible finish and now will finish last in this race. We'll go ahead and get a replay of what happened to Luke Rainey. Get you guys back to the green flag here for these final laps at Orndale. Three wide. Austin Johnson, Luke Rainey, Jacob Rose. They go three wide. Rose gets right into the back of Rainey and just spins the 85 into the wall. So Rainey being a Monster Motorsports driver, Jacob Rose being kind of uh, sat out by Monster, uh, except for the RBSDS program. His uh, MDCS run this season has kind of been mired with battles with Monster Motorsports, so it looks like maybe a little bit of payback there, but Jacob Rose does end up spinning out. Luke Rainey will go ahead and get you guys back to the green flag here at Irwindale. And the lights on the pace car have gone out. 21 laps through, so we're going to have four laps to go. Maurice leads with Jose Mills second, Johnston third, Eddie Caligi, or uh, Trip McGinnis fourth, and fifth is Gunnar Matheson. Chandler Maurice trying to hang on for his first win. Jose Mills back there looking for his second in a row. Coming around to the front straightaway. Chandler Maurice leads us down. Green flag, a beautiful jump by that 72. He's trying to win this race. Ryan Johnson jumps to the outside. You also see Ashton LaJoy further back. Johnson trying to make the move. He started this race on pole, but Chandler Maurice now pulls away. Now coming around, it will be only be three to go. The 42 car now is the next car in line to chase down Chandler. Does he have enough time, Johnston? There, the 09 gets shoved up. Ashton LaJoy just got blocked right there. There's Daniel Royals. Uh, Julio Caesar also in the mix there. Austin Johnson further back. But coming around, two laps to go for Chandler as he has just launched away here at Irwindale looking for that first win. Could lead all 25 laps. But Johnson is coming. He, do not count that 42 car out. It's a pretty strong team. The 46 is also back there. Now coming around to the white flag here at Irwindale. 42 of Johnson has really caught him. But Chandler's trying to hang on one last lap around this track. And coming through one and two, it doesn't look like Johnson's going to get there. He's going to have to dive it in hard. It's not going to happen. Maurice up in front. Johnston tries the shot. Not going to work. And Chandler Maurice finally wins in the RBSDS. And all 19 cars rush across the line. It is Chandler Maurice's day. So he will finally be able to put himself on the podium that his brother Blake has with a win in the NSDCA. Everyone's just going to hit the pit wall apparently coming in. And that is why these guys are not in the MDCS yet. But uh, we'll go ahead and send it out to Waterford, Connecticut for the RBSDS East Race. 23 drivers in that field as some of them have been chopped up as well uh, and chopped out of the series. So we'll go ahead and get you guys out there. Thank you guys for watching this. Let's go head out to the East. And now after that exciting finish there in Irwindale, we head to Waterford, Connecticut for the Waterford Speed Bowl race. 20 laps around this short half mile. Austin Murray for Anjato and Matthew Brown for AJR. Two of the powerhouses in the uh, NSDCA Red Bull Short Track Showdown Series start on pole. And you see Anderson Reed and Stephen Wallace Jr. Cody Goforth, Nicky Morris, Irving Allison, Anthony Lehman, 
Christian Holder, and Luke Rainey. The top 10 drivers have the commands to go. Let's go ahead and head down track side as we get ready to race here to at Waterford. So Austin Murray, the engine's fired, and the 99 team's going to roll off on pole, but the question is, can they stay there? 23 drivers in the East Series. The East Series is kept up a lot more with the activity, which is good for everyone, but it is Austin Murray looking for his second career win this season. You also see Irving Allison back there in 7th of 33, almost finished his top five at, uh, at um, Irwindale, but blew up. Now at Waterford, Irving trying to come back, coming around. For the first time, Austin Murray, it's a 20-lap event here. Austin Murray, Matthew Brown lead us down. We're racing. Green flag is in the air in Connecticut. Into the corner already. They all get going. Camera angle's a little wonky here, so we'll have to make do with what we got. But Austin Murray jumps out into the lead. There's Anderson Reed coming off of a win at Pocono in the Mountain Dew Custom Series for Everham Racing. He's already moving himself up into second. There you see Cody Goforth also. He won. I believe it was last week at Memphis. Anderson Reed sliding all the way up the track. You see the field going all around now. And Austin Murray pulling away in that number 99. For the back, you see Nicky Morris going up the track. These guys are going to be real aggressive here. There's Stephen Wallace Jr. who's hired to drive this two car. Uh, no, Stephen Wallace Jr. is going to Cloud9 Autosport next season uh, to drive. I believe it is the number 94. So that's great for him to do him to see Cody go forth I believe going to Red Bull Motorsports but it is Austin Murray the Ange Auto driver who is gone absolutely gone here at Waterford and already through this event five laps three you can see the flyby there as the field goes by one car into the wall I believe that was Irving Allison so his season of tragedy continues for that team see Klaus Curtin that 36 the Red Bull Motorsports driver you also see Christian Holder got shoved up and out of the track so he's going to get now freight trained you see further back Nicky Morris has dropped to the back there Irving Allison Eric Monaco Luke Rainey all trying to fight their way up towards the front there but you see now Cody Goforth starting to chase down Austin Murray we are already seven laps through this event and Goforth is coming in that double zero car can he catch Austin here back there in third Austin Delgado two of the top three have driven in or drove at Pocono last week only one of them uh, did real well. That was Austin Delgado. That was Austin Delgado in that 95. One car went up and hit the wall. I don't know who that was. As you see, I think it was Christian Holder, possibly Irving Allison, making a huge move, going almost three three wide there. The rest of the field just driving hard. But now Cody Goforth catching Austin Murray, who's really went up the track here. And now coming around to 10 laps through this event, Cody Goforth is going to get to the inside of Austin Murray, side by side for the race lead. Coming out of turn four. This is a very fast track. These guys are running in pretty fast. And the slick track, a lot of cars are starting to lose some grip. But these guys still running as fast as they can. No one spun out yet. No cautions yet. But Austin Murray now has Cody Goforth. And soon Austin Delgado catching him. and will be right up there. Four drivers. The top five. There's Jeff McReynolds in that 08. The top five all confirmed to run the Mountain Dew Custom Series next season. McReynolds in that 08 dropping to his own team. McReynolds Family Racing. Austin Murray is going to Ange Auto. Cody Goforth to Red Bull Motorsports. Austin Delgado, I believe, could be going to the uh, FAR team or Cloud9, but he may just stay in the RBSDS and the two-car of Stephen Wallace Jr. going to Cloud9. But Austin Murray, 13 laps through this event now as we got on to lap number 13. He's starting to pull away, pull right back away from Cody Goforth, but that 99 really losing it on the track. You see he's kind of running outside of the dark gray area, the groove here at Waterford, and that's kind of screwing him up right now, letting Cody r drive right back in, but maybe he's just trying to get a show going, but now Cody Goforth looking to attack Austin Murray, Delgado sliding it all around the track, now Co uh, Goforth to the outside line, he's trying to dirt track it, Goforth into the wall, and now that puts Delgado, two of the on Auto drivers, one, two with Delgado, now into second, and these drivers you see there, there is Austin Murray, then second, third, fourth, and fifth, all in a battle. Klaus Kurt sixth, Alex Peters seventh, Reed eighth, Brown ninth, and uh, that is Bouchard going to pedal to metal racing. He's back there in tenth as you see lap traffic could be coming up to these guys as Austin Murray continues to hold this race lead coming around with only five, uh, four to go this time by Murray out in front. He's just trying to hang on for his second win of the season.
And you see that 42 very, very far back. Go forth with that damage has dropped all the way to that fifth position. But as they fight there, there's the two of Stephen Wallace Jr. Jeff McReynolds for Jones Racing Inc. He's moved himself into that third position. A great run for this 08 team. He's up there in that third spot. But now there is Mike Cook in that 09. He might be an issue for Austin, Austin Murray to worry about. Two laps to go at Waterford. 42 of Delgado trying to chase him down. Murray out in front. We'll go to the large spectator cam. You see the white flag is going to be flying in the air here as the field is rushing around. Austin Murray coming to take the white flag here at Waterford. And into one and two. He just has to run it nicely. Delgado has a lot of time. He has to gain up in this final corner. As long as the 99 doesn't put it in the wall, he's clear. He dives to the inside of Mike Cook. It's not going to matter, though. Austin Murray, second career win in the RBSTS. Delgado, second. Stephen Wallace, Jr., third. Cody, go fourth, fourth. Jeff McReynolds just beating out Klaus Kurt for fifth. You see the rest of the field as they go three wide coming back to the line there. And a big pack of cars back there. All those guys have been getting it into the wall. So it is Austin Murray taking home the win here at Waterford. Congratulations to that team. We'll see you guys next uh, later this week. Talladega week for the Mountain Dew Custom Series and the Crown Rock Truck Series. See you guys then.